Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Shell's World. Um, today's video, I'm going to show you my wash day routine, um, which does not consist of a lot, honestly. But my friend had asked me to do a video, so here I am doing a video. If you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, comment, um, stay a while, take a seat, all that good stuff. And all of the people who, you know, been here already, welcome back. You know, come chill with me. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this look, please stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm going to start by washing my hair. But before I do that, I'm going to show you guys the products that I'm using. Um, I use a Tommy Herbal, <coughs> excuse me, a Tommy Herbal hair shampoo. It's basically Asian. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's an Asian line. And my uncles were selling these, so I was like, why not? Let me try it. And so far, it's been so good. The shampoo is like a liquid gold shampoo and it has like this you know earthy smell like you know how they use herbs for all types of things <clears throat> this was basically in here and also the conditioner is a basic white conditioner it kind of has like this lotion texture but should look like something else too but we're not gonna get into that but um yeah, so I'm going to start with washing my hair. I usually wash my hair in the sink because I don't want to be having to, you know, clean the tub after I finish wash, having a wash day. Like, after wash day, I'll be tight. Like, I'll be done. I don't want to do anything else. So, for me to have to, like, have conditioner or treatment in my tub and I have to clean that after I wash my hair, and I'm not doing all that. So, I usually just do it in the sink. Just you know wash it after I'm done it's smaller so it's not much to, to wash but the sink be is, is good as good as it gets for me so yeah I just hope my hair can fit in it so when I'm washing my hair I usually give it like two washes and then I go put my treatment in. The deep conditioner I use is Originals Africa's Best Hair Mayonnaise. This has been here for years. So, and it works. Like, why am I going to change something that, you know, if it's working for me? So, I've tried other, like, other treatments. But, you know, I ain't going to front. Sometimes I'll be finishing the whole container in one wash like that sucks like if you have natural hair and you gotta wash your hair every two weeks can you imagine just going through one container in a wash so I've been using this but I've been using it sparingly I will like braid each part of my hair and then put it in there instead of just putting the whole thing in there like it saves me more so, I mean, it's, it's a tedious type of method, but it saves me. Like, I be going through these like it's water. My hair looks like when it's wet. It's the natural state 4C hair. It shrinks like a mug. And I hate it, but 
this is why I cannot do wash and goes because I just said if I had to go walk the streets like this, like, this, no. Like, wash and goes ain't for everybody, guys. That's what I'm going to tell y'all. Wash and goes is not for everybody. So, I take some of this. Separate the strand. And it's not perfect either. Like, I just take whatever's sticking out. And I twist it. Do the same for the next. Instead of just putting it all over my hair at once, like, I'll be wasting a lot of it. Well, not wasting a lot of it, but I feel like this is a better, so all, like, all parts of my hair gets this in it. I just do it this way. Good This has been working for me. This has been working for me. Ugh. Hey, when I see my hair come out like that. Make sure your hair is saturated. Lord have mercy. Oh, it's starting to hurt already. Mind you, I cut my hair. I don't know how many inches I cut it, but... I cut it. Do you let the treatment sit in my hair for like two or three hours? Like, I'm not gonna find if I got stuff to do during the day, I'm gonna get it done with this on my head. Um, I usually tie it, put a hat on, something. If I gotta step the house, a hat is going on, and or a head tie. And plus, a head tie is good to put on around this time because. You want it to be, you know, the, the treatment to penetrate your head while your hair, and you want it to get in there. So the heat, you know how sometimes like when you go to the salon, they push it under the dryer, that helps. So the heat helps it. So you can either put, you know, a head tie just to accumulate some heat, sit under the. So hey guys, I just finished rinsing out the treatment in my hair and then I put the conditioner in my hair so now I'm going to basically prep my hair so that I can blow it out like 
I don't do wash and goes. That's a that's a no for me. Like this, can you imagine? Like this is the shrinkage that I get when I wash my hair. So me doing the wash and go. First of all, my hair gets like really, really hard. I don't know why or how or like once I try to comb my hair, it's just it's hard. So I can't do wash and goes like, and plus it's winter. You know, sleeping with a, your head all wet and stuff like that is not it's not a good look, especially if you have to go outside after. So. I don't do wash and goes. What I do is I basically blow out my hair. Um, every time I wash my hair, I blow it out. That's that's a, that's the done deal for me. Like I wash and goes ain't cute on me. I'm sorry to say, but it's the truth. Not on this 4C hair. But my leave-in conditioner is this Cantu Oregon Oil Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. This is holy grail. Like once you finish washing your hair, you put this leave-in conditioner and it moisturizes your hair. Well, it moisturizes my hair. So this is what I use before I blow dry my hair. And also it's always good to have a heat protectant. So I recently found this because I was using um I think it was L'Oreal spray something like that but I found this and it's just they just I mean it's from the same brand so obviously it works together but this thermal shield heel protector is, is everything so this is what I use along with this once I'm good once I um you know I'm ready to blow dry my hair first I um I use this and then basically it's a routine like I'll show you right now you know basically I don't really part my hair in any type of way like I feel like my hair is already parted the way I because it's always the same thing so I basically do this try to retangle whatever I can and then go in with the um, leave-in conditioner. I always braid it in parts. Ugh. This would happen like right now. Okay. And then I just spray this. And then I braid it. Because I usually blow dry my hair in parts. I can't do my whole head for some reason. Like my hair is way too thick. I forgot to comb this out. My hair is way too thick for me to, like, I used to be able to do it. I think, like, when I had a perm, that's how I would, um, I would blow dry my hair. Like, I would just leave the whole thing out and I could blow dry the whole thing right then and there. But with my hair now, I have to do it in parts. So... Yeah. It's gonna take a minute. But this is how it usually goes. Part. Make sure I do it from root to tip. Y'all, I had that conditioner, that treatment in my hair since like 12 o'clock. And it's now 12 a.m. <laughs> I'm missing out my hair, y'all. And I'm about to roll out my hair. It's been a long day. 
This thing is so slippery. I can't really. Grasp it. I don't want to be tired of doing this. But that's how it's going right now. This foot is going down. So I'm basically going to do this to my whole head. I think it was like two weeks ago I gave myself a little haircut. <laughs> I don't know how many inches I cut off, but it just made my hair a lot thicker than it usually is. So guys, if you guys need to trim your ends, please trim your ends. I'm not saying to get a tr like a trim every two months or anything like that. Trim your hair as needed because I don't believe in trimming your hair every couple of months. Like, no. Your hair don't even go that fast every couple of months, so you don't need to trim. You gotta trim that so often. Like every six to like six months a year, I would say, honestly. Y'all, it's snowing out there. Like, I hate snow. I'm sorry about that beeping sound I keep hearing in the background. Ugh. My super has to come and change my um the batteries of my alarm. This is what it is. This is what it is. This is how it's going down. Try it from root to tip. Make sure I get it all in there. And it smells good too, like the the spray. Maybe it has smelling really good.
All right. All right, so now that I've braided into parts, it's time for me to blow dry. Each braid. the truth like getting me all the way together as I finish blowing out braid it back together Notice the difference? Stretched out. Can't do this little shrinkage thing. Like, it'll be killing me, y'all. Every time I see it. This is how it gets done.
so this is what my hair looks like after I blew it out. Um, I don't usually put anything else in it after that because it's just moisturized and it's, my hair is moisturized so I don't need to put any oils right now probably later in the week but right now it's good so I'm just gonna braid it and then go to sleep because it's past one o'clock in the morning and I just finished you know washing my hair whatever so we'll see what it looks like one we'll see what it looks like in the morning guys now it's time for the takedown um if you want you can add a little bit of oil to your hair you know you gotta grease the scalp or just to like put on your tips of your fingers just so you can take out the braids and stuff um what i basically did last night before i went to sleep i twisted it and i rolled it around so basically like a bantu knot but i i did the twist instead so let me add a little bit of oil. Add oil to my fingertips. And then about to take it out. Sorry y'all, my shirt is so wrinkled, but I'm about to do a haul after this and this is part of it, so yeah. I never know what like style I'm gonna do with my hair. Like it all depends on how it behaves because sometimes my hair does not behave. Like sometimes it be coming out crappy. That's why I can't like I wouldn't be able to do you know hair tutorials with you guys like that because I'll be praying, you know, like God please God I hope my hair looks somewhat decent. But yeah, let's see what I get today. So far, so good.
Separate these. So what should I do? Should I pin it up or leave it down? I don't know guys, what you think I should do? Because at this point, <laughs> I'm stuck. And so I'll be like, I don't even know what to do with my hair. Like, it's, however it comes out is how it comes out to me. Sometimes it'll be, it'll act right and sometimes it'll be like, sis. Not today. I ain't gonna fall. My makeup kind of cute though. Like, get into it, guys. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this here. With this mess that I have going on at the top. I don't want to pin it down like that. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Hey guys, so this is the end of the video. Um, This is the final look. Hope you guys like it. Like I said, I didn't have any intentions. Like I didn't know what I was going to get when I took out my braids, but this is what I got. It's either this or I put it up. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked it and I hope you liked this video. Um, subscribe if you're new and if you like what you see so far, subscribe and hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.